a new effort is in the works to fight the tri-state's opioid epidemic. Just last year, we saw more than 500 opioid deaths, overdose deaths specifically, with 373 of them coming from opioid overdoses. That's right, and Diane on your side's Paolo Soro shows us how hospitals are now helping out and the change you might just notice during your next visit to the doctor's office. Paolo? Well, guys, you walk into Good Samaritan Hospital, you take a left, and this is what you'll find, a medication drop box where you can bring your prescriptions or over-the-counter medication and drop them off here. Now, this has been here for a week, as well as in two other tri-health hospitals, and it's all to make sure that those extra pills that you have at home or expired medication end up in the right hands. Each number is a person, and each person has a story. I probably started using drugs around the age of 13 years old. I come from a family of addicts. He is just one of many reasons law enforcement and different organizations, including the Hamilton County Heroin Coalition, are stepping in to help fight the drug epidemic, an epidemic that hit record numbers in 2017. So last year was a record year, not just for this state, but also the country. Um, over 72,000 Americans died from drug overdoses, so yeah, it was a record year. Newtown Police Chief Tom Sinan, who's a member of the coalition, says so far the cases in 2018 are very similar to the numbers we saw back in 2015 and 2016. That's not good. We want to go under those numbers, but right now it looks like we're on trend for 2015, 2016. Chief Sinan says in 2017 we saw close to 70 overdoses a week. This year it's at about 50 per week, fluctuating each day, impacting more than just the individual. Now someone's going to grieve that person for the rest of their lives. Not just that, but first responders had to respond to that. That impacts them. It impacts the nurses, the, the doctors. And speaking of nurses and doctors, that's one of many reasons Tri-Health Hospitals have put these in three of their lobbies. If you've got a surgery and you have leftover medications, you're not using them. We're trying to discourage people from flushing those medications. So that can negatively impact our water quality. So we don't want people to flush them um, and we want to provide a safe way for people to dispose of them. This way, extra pills or expired medications don't end up in the wrong hands. It is a big asset to prevent not just abuse, but potential uh, harmful ingestion by children or uh, other individuals that weren't prescribed these medications. Now it's pretty easy to use. You just open it up, throw in your prescriptions or uh, over-the-counter medications, and then it's disposed of the right way. Now, some things you should know, do not bring any needles, inhalers, or any liquids. Those are not accepted here. Um, but, you know, if you are worried about anything, any information that a label might have on a bottle, they say to not worry about it. This is uh, disposed of the right way and won't end up in a landfill, and it's also environmentally friendly. So. For now, we're here at Good, Good Samaritan Hospital, Powell Soro 9 on your side. All right.